Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? I'm gonna go over an art tip that I use constantly. It's a bit more of a style tip, but I think you're gonna love it and I think anybody can apply it immediately to their drawings or their, uh, you know, inkings and it will improve it immediately. Anyways, stick around and find out what that is eh, right now. <laughs> so, one thing I've been doing for a lot of my stuff, and again, like I said, this is style, is when you're drawing something for, per se, like this, right? This is complicated. Um, when you draw that, try drawing a thicker contour around it, and I don't know what that is, and we've been talking about it for, I mean, since I started drawing, uh, my teacher was saying that. And by, by style, I mean you don't have to do this, and not every situation calls for this, but it's a suggestion that you can use in your style, and it might really, really help uh, improve the way your stuff looks. Creating that dark contour around anything, like see how this line's a little bit thicker than this and the inside. Not everything, right? But it's a thicker than a lot of it. What is that, why does that look better? It just does, and I don't know really the, the idea behind it. I think the idea behind it is that you're containing a lot of little shapes uh, and it just somehow makes you focus on what to look at. So if you're drawing, let me get another piece of paper. So if I'm drawing something like that, right? And then let's say I draw something like, like that again. So let's say you have that shape, you know, this abstract form. Drawing a thicker, line only around the outer edge, only around the contour, not only, right, because there's some within, it, like, a little bit. Drawing something thicker makes it look better, like, at least just the outside. Not everything, because then it'll look like a thick coloring book, but you can, you know, that's another look. Uh, that thicker line, like, again, guides your eye a little bit. You're just like, boom. It's not as complicated, where I think something like this, like imagine that line, but it's more complicated. Let's say it's a much more complicated form. It could be a mess, and your eye gets lost. You don't know where to go. It's just like, what? Blah! You know, it's like computer, when it's like stuff prints out, you're like, blah! Like a schematic. Um, so, like I said, doing that thicker contour can really make things amazing. And that's it, I'm kind of I'm kind of going on and on about this, but I can't emphasize to you that you should try this with your drawings. It might make it better, it might not. If it doesn't work, throw it out, don't use it. But if it does work on your drawings and you're like, huh, that does look a little better, try it out. Don't overuse it, I mean, you could overuse it like I do, um, but that's it. That's the style tip, I really, really hope you like that. If you like this stuff, click the like button, and also hit the share button. That thing helps me more than anything you can imagine. Share the video, and uh, also don't forget the how to draw ebook. The, uh, sorry, how to shade ebook. It's an ebook that it's totally free, and the idea is that there's three shapes. If you learn to shade those three shapes, then you should be able to shade anything in nature, like really. And that you can simplify all of shading down to that. And I put that in an ebook. It's free for the time being, so get it right now while it's free. And uh, I've gotten a lot of great reviews from people who've said great things. Thank you so much, guys, uh, who, who said that stuff. And that's it. I'll talk to you next time. Click that link in the description. It's totally free. And I will see you next time.